The ATP Italian Open is here, which means it's time for a tournament preview. I'll break down the men's draw, go over all the potential matchups, and give my pick of four I think will take it all here on Grand Slam Tennis News today. Novak Djokovic will likely start his title defense against Dan Evans, and his first projected seeded opponent is Grigor Dimitrov. Then in the quarters, the Serbian can meet Stefano Tsitsipas, and in the semis, Dominic Team. Then in the finals, Rafael Nadal. Djokovic, of course, could face Dan Evans in the second round, which would be a rematch of their Monte Carlo clash, which the Brit took in straights. I think Evans is definitely a tricky opener if they do play, as he's been playing great all clay court season. However, it'll be a very tough ask to defeat Nole twice in a row, which is why I have the Serb coming through. His third round opponent I feel could be anyone, as Nore, Davidovic, Falkina, and Dimitrov are all possibilities. I'll pick Falkina because I think that he's been in the best form overall out of the three. Regardless though, I have Djokovic reaching the quarters. Moving down, Stefano Tsitsipas and Matteo Berrettini are on a collision course for a third round match. Both men though have their work cut out for them, as Matteo will play Munich champion Bacilashvili in his opener. Tsitsipas on the other hand will likely play Sasha Bublik in his first match. I think that Tsitsipas will advance to the quarters and I feel like he has the easier path and will be more rested and prepared for this event. Should Djokovic and Tsitsipas square off, I think that the Greek man can get the win if he plays like how he did in Monte Carlo and Barcelona. Djokovic is still my pick though because I expect him to pick up his play after disappointing finishes in Monte Carlo and Belgrade. Dominic Team is projected to play Martin Fuksovic in the opening round, followed by Gael Monfils. In the quarters, he could face Andre Rublev, then in the semis, Djokovic, then Nadal in the final round. I think that Dominic's draw before the quarters is decent. Pela or Fuksovic are solid players though, so he needs to watch out and be focused from the start there. I don't think that he'll play Gael Monfils in the third because of the Frenchman's lack of confidence. Conversely, Lorenzo Seneca, who already has a clay court title to his name, will come out guns a-blazing, especially with the home crowd behind him. Team honestly doesn't perform that great in Rome due to how the conditions play, so he might be susceptible to another early exit and at the hands of Sonego, should they play. I have confidence though that the Austrian's experience will get him through to the quarters. Once again, Roberto Bautista and Andre Rublev are on track to meet in the third round, but Christian Garin and Jan Struff could pose problems for both players respectively in the second round. I think that we will see Garin and Rublev face off in the third round, where I believe the Russian will advance to the quarters. Struff, I think, would be his biggest threat Rublev from reaching the last four, as the Russian tends to struggle more against bigger servers, as evident with the Isner loss last week. I think that Andre will win though and beat teams should they play, because not only is Rublev Rublev in better match shape, but he seems to have the Austrians number as of late, winning their last three matches and the straight sets. Third seed Medvedev might face Karatsev in the second round, followed by Hercoc in the third. Diego Schwarzman is a possible quarters opponent and in the semis Rafael Nadal. In the finals, he could play Novak Djokovic. At the top of Medvedev's section is Diego Schwartzman, who will play Felix Auger-Aliassime in the second round. That would be a tricky match for both, which I think the Argentine will claim. Gofan is already into the second round and might play Karen Hatchinov, who isn't playing that well lately to be honest. I feel like David will take out the last year's finalists should they meet, because I thought his performance in Monte Carlo was very impressive and he definitely has the game to beat Diego. Focusing on Danil, he'll likely play Karatsev in the second round, which is a very tough opener. Her coach is also tough, but Opelka, who won his first match against Richard Gasquet, might be another potential threat. Hubi has an interesting opening match himself against the young Italian superstar Lorenzo Musetti. I still think the pole will advance, as will Daniil, and have them reached in the third round. Medvedev and Hercox have never played, so I don't know how that matchup will work out though. I actually think that despite being the lower ranked player, Hercox is the favorite because of his greater comfort on clay, as he nearly made the quarters in Rome last year. However, Gofan is my pick to reach the semis in this section because I truly just feel that he's due for a good run as he's in good form, plus he's had good results in Rome previously. Nine-time champion Rafael Nadal might play Yannick Sinner in the second round, followed by Denis Shapovalov in the third. He has a chance at redemption, drawing Zverev in the quarters, and in the semis he could face off against Dino Medvedev, then in the finals Novak. 
Madrid champions Varev is at the top of Rafa's section, and I think that his draw is good. Busta is his projected seed, although Fonini lurks as well. Regardless, I think that Sasha will come through to the quarters. I think that should Rafa get by center, or Umber, because we shouldn't count him out, he'll face Denis Shapovalov, who has a pretty favorable draw. I think that this tournament could get him his mojo back Dennis by winning those consecutive matches, which will make him even more dangerous to face Rafa. I think that Shapo, if playing well, has the potential to beat Nadal, especially seeing as how tentative the Spaniard has been playing at the moment, not really going for his shots. However, despite his difficult draw, I believe Rafa will rise to the occasion and is determined to have a solid showing at at least one of these clay court masters heading into the French. Also, while Zverev is playing very well, it will be a very tough task to defeat Rafa on clay in two consecutive events. I don't see it happening, although I could be mistaken. However, I have Rafa reaching the semis. For my final predictions, I have Andre Rublev and Rafa Nadal reaching the finals with Nadal winning the title. Out of the two, I'm surprised to say that having Nadal reach the final stage is riskier due to his poor form and tougher draw. However, Rafael, as I said before, will look to have vengeance for his subpar performance this entire clay court swing. I also think that the tough draw will help the Spaniard by forcing him to elevate his game early. Unlike at Monte Carlo, Barcelona, and Madrid, he won't be allowed to have two or three poor matches at the start of the tournament. He must play well from the very first round. Rublev, despite the Madrid stumble, I believe is one of the hottest players on tour and feel like he could take out literally anyone in this event. Djokovic, who I have reached in the semifinals, will be a tough ass though, as I almost had the Serbian reach the finals instead. I do think that Andre is primed for a good week here, as he's likely recovered from that jam-packed spring. I honestly feel like not now the men's tour is becoming more difficult to predict as the younger guys are truly starting to challenge the big three for these bigger titles. Novak, Stefanos, Mateos, Vera, Daniil, and even others could all reach the finals and win this title, but currently I think it'll be the Spaniard and the Russian for the final. That's all for this tournament preview, and let me know what you think about the draw and my predictions in the comment section below. Do you think Rublev and Nadal are bad picks? If so, who are your finalists? Also, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.